Now let's talk about the reflection of a plane wave front at a plane surface. So here is the xy plane on which the waves are incident. You are able to see AB is a plane wave front incident on the surface at A. PA and QBC are perpendiculars drawn to AB at A. And B respectively. Hence they represent the incident rays. An is the normal drawn to the surface. The wave front and the surface are perpendicular to the plane of the paper. According to Huygens principle, each point on the wave front acts as a source of the secondary wavelet. By the time the secondary wavelet from B travel a distance BC, wavelet from A on the reflecting surface would travel the distance BC. Taking A as center and BC as radius, draw an arc. So, we got the point D. So, AD is equal to BC. This tangent CD, so draw a tangent CD. Tangent CD not only envelops the wavelet from C to A, C and A, but also the wavelength from all points between C and A. Therefore, CD is the reflected plane wave front and AD is the reflected ray. The incident wave front AB, the reflected wave front CD and the reflecting surface XY all lie in the same plane. So the angle of incidence I A is indicated as a P a n is equal to 90 degree of minus 90 degree minus n a and b which is nothing but b a and c this is given here this is the angle of incidence which is indicated by the term I. Over here we got the reflection N, A and D. This is your angle of reflection is equal to 90 degree minus D, A and C. So, NAD is the reflecting angle. So, 90 degree minus NAC. Sorry, DAC. You will be getting this one. So, based on this is a right angle and congruent angles, you are able to get it like since this angle, this angle is equal to this angle, obviously, this angle obviously you'll be getting D C and A this is the angle the two triangles are congruent angle of B A C and D C A are equal which indicates I is equal to R that's the angle of incidence which is equal to the angle of reflection you're able to see this is the incident ray and this is the reflected ray